landlord served me a notice to quit, even though my rent is still active and has not expired. I used to think that a notice to quit can be served only when your rent has expired. Well, you should understand that your landlord has the right to serve you a notice to quit, whether your rent is still subsisting or is still active or not, whether your rent has expired or not. The law provides that when a landlord wants to serve you a notice to quit, he should, he should issue such notices depending on the tenancy agreement you both embarked upon. For a yearly tenant, you are expected to be issued a six-month notice to quit. A yearly tenant is a person who pays rent annually, meaning every year. For a quarterly or half yearly tenant, you are expected to be issued a notice to quit of at least three months. A quarterly tenant or half yearly tenant is someone who pays rent in a space of three to six months. For a monthly tenant, you are expected to be issued a one month notice to quit. And a monthly tenant is someone who pays his rent every month. Being issued a notice to quit is merely a way of informing you that you should start preparing yourself ahead pending when the notice to quit expires. So if I were you, once you are being issued a notice to quit, it means that you should start looking for an alternative accommodation. All right, so that is what it basically means. It informs you, it puts you on notice so that you'll be prepared to look for alternative accommodation. What is the essence of this notice to quit? The essence of this notice to quit is to keep you on notice, to inform you, to make you get ready to prepare yourself ahead in terms of seeking for another accommodation or looking for a better renter um, accommodation so that you don't end up sleeping on that Oshodi bridge. Okay. So, now, what are the steps you should take when a landlord issues you a notice of it? The first step is to inform your lawyer, all right? Inform your lawyer. Your lawyer will be the one to tell you the, your rights, your obligations, and to see if there's any way the situation can be remedied. Then, another step to take is simply to have a negotiation with your landlord to know why he has issued you such notice to it. Sometimes, some notice of it states or carries the ground for the issuance of such notices. However, if what is on the paper might be different from the intentions of the landlord for issuing that notice to quit. Okay, so have a conversation with your landlord to know the reason why he has issued that notice to quit to you. All right, having had a conversation with your landlord, try to negotiate. Okay, try to negotiate with him to see if you'll be able to stay there. If there's any issues that has been going on between you and the both of you, you can try to see if you can resolve such issues. All right? And ensure you keep evidence of these conversations or any correspondences received during these processes. My name is Isaac Gokeke. I'm your favorite lawyer and a real estate entrepreneur who uses the machinery of the law to safeguard the best interest of my clients. So if you've not been following my page, do that today to keep getting premium value from this channel.